seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A very pleasant morning to all of you. It's my pleasure to extend a cheerful welcome to you all. Your presence makes us very happy. A charming woman doesn't follow the crowd. She is herself, says Loretta Young. I am Ms. Chani Roshni, working as Assistant Professor, Department of Economics, Kurushi Shantiviji Jain College for Women. I am honored to render my heartfelt welcome to our Chief Guest, Dr. Arul Vasu, Professor, Department of Zoology, University of Madras. Welcome, sir. And I also welcome all the faculty members for five days, a national level faculty development program titled Best Practices Benchmarking and HEIS for Quality Enhancement, organized by IQAC Guru Shri Shanti Vijay Jain College for Women. Man is made by his belief as he believes, so he is, says Bhagavad Gita. Prayer gives us power and positivity. Let us commence this informative and beneficial session by seeking the Almighty's blessings. Session. It's a privilege to extend a cordial welcome. May I request Dr. Varalakshmi, IPSC coordinator, to render a gracious welcome and read the credentials of our guest. Good morning to one and all present here. Internal Quality Assurance Cell of Guruji Shantivadi Jain College is organizing five days faculty development program on the topic best practices benchmarking in higher educational institutions for quality announcement from 26th October to 31st October. On behalf of Internal Quality Assurance Cell of GSS Jain College for Women, I welcome our chief guest, Dr. C. Arun Vasu, who has graciously accepted our invitation and becoming a part of today's event. A brief introduction of our guest for today's session. Dr. C. Arul Vasu is a professor in the Department of Zoology, University of Madras. He has published around 93 papers in Indian and international journals. He has organized and participated uh, in 91 national and international workshops. His area of specialization is cancer biology and aquaculture nutrition. His praiseworthy and laudable achievements are that he has won the Young Scientist Award for the best paper presentation in international conference, Best Indian Science Research Nanotherapy for Breast Cancer by uh, Nature Publishing Group 2014, Fellow of Academy of Science by Academy of Science Chennai 2016. He has obtained patent a novel anti-cancer compound from medicinal plant Datura Noxia and Renoxia of 2014. He has obtained a certificate of appreciation, successful organization and completion of green skill development program, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India, New Delhi. He has obtained a certificate com commemoration, the syndicate of the University of Madras. 
recognition of 25 years of uh, service for the record of science. He has obtained a certificate of appreciation for UGC sponsored refresher course in zoology and Department of Medicinal Biochemistry, University of Madras for skin care and therapy. He has obtained life member in Indian Academy of Neurosciences, member in Indian Society of Hematology, member in Indian Science uh, Congress Association, member in Society of Fisheries Technologies, and life member in the Academy of Sciences and European Association for Cancer Research. He has authored around 10 books, guided many research scholars, review and edited many journals, both national and international level, and question paper setter for TNPSC, member of Board of Studies in Biotechnology, Wales University, Stalamaris, MCC, Etraj, and Guru Nanak College. He also acts as an inspector committee member and coordinator of environmental information system, coordinator and committee member of soft skill program. He has organized many international, national seminar, workshops, symposium, orientation, and refresher courses. He has also been invited as a guest lecturer for many conferences, seminars, workshops, symposium, and refresher courses. He is also the member of doctoral committee board for various universities. Words couldn't be sufficient to enumerate his innumerable achievements and accolades. Once again, I welcome our chief guest, Dr. C. Arul Vasu, to deliver his address on the topic clean, green, and smart campus. Welcome, you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Can I start the program, ma'am? Yes, sir. Can I start? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, Madam, are you able to see the slide? Madam, Varlashmi, ma'am? Yes, sir. Uh, Can you able to see yes, the slide? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, can you open it? Yeah, yes, yes. I, I will open it. Okay. Okay. Are you able to see the slight changes, ma'am? Hello. Any one of you, faculty members? Sir, it is not open yet, sir. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, very good morning to all. Uh, thanks, ma'am. Thank you for your nice introduction about me. Uh, Dr. Varlishmi, ma'am, IPS Director, GSS uh, Jain College, and also moderator Santini, ma'am, as a professor in the economic uh, uh, department, economics department, and also good morning to all the participants from various uh, colleges, universities, uh, director, dean, as well as faculty members of various uh, colleges. Good morning to all. Uh, so. I'm just uh, at present. I'm now in 2L role. One is a professor. Basically, I did my all the BACMSE, everything in zoology. Uh, I work as a professor in the department of zoology, University of Madras. In the additional charge, so as a director and coordinator of um, environmental information awareness capacity building and livelihood program, that is simply EAACP, PCRP. So, uh, comes under the Ministry of Environment and Forest Climate Change, Government of India, New Delhi. So, uh, one side, professor, and another side, uh, uh, taking the charges of environmental issues and environmental problems, and also 
various awareness uh, programs we will discuss on later so today we are going to discuss about the uh, topic clean green and uh, smart campuses uh, we are uh, as a environmental uh, information system center from ministry and also tamil nadu government insists the various environmental issues uh, how to solve the how to manage these uh, environmental problems especially for plastic management as e waste management and other waste and other things that is very difficult to manage the things because of uh, each and every part of the uh, country we are using uh, the these kind of waste in various ways so today is the common uh, for a common topic for all even economics and tamil or um, other department also this comes under the skill development program so that is a common topic only uh, i know the faculty members mind uh, because of i have conducted more than 6 uh, refresher courses and also attended uh, four uh, refresher courses and the orientation program i know the thing so uh, apart from this i already told you this is the common one common subject so we will go for um, so what are the environmental issues what are the environmental problem how to manage these uh, problems and also how to protect our environment from the problems and also what are the various issues and uh, government both uh, tamil nadu as well as uh, central government ministry of environment what are the steps initiated by these uh, clean green and uh, smart campuses um, uh, what are the solutions uh, from the experts like that uh, we will discuss first then uh, after uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, uh, as a environmental uh, coordinator environmental science coordinator what are the things we are doing in the center so uh, about the center what we are doing in the various uh, ways we will discuss on later on so first we will start it with the small uh, things about the environment you know the thing environmental science and the environment is a common topic one day sorry to interest in between yes madam are you able uh, to hear my word uh, yes madam yes, uh, ppt is not in chat sir not in sir uh, yes sir now yes, are you able to see the uh, see the um, we are able to see the screen but we are not able to see the uh, slides sir it is not yet opened open now uh, yes sir okay okay, okay. i will i will see yes Madam, are you able to see the first slide? No. No, sir. No. Uh, no just sir. a minute. Just a minute. Now? No, sir. It is not it. If not, could you share the uh, PPT to us, sir? We will share on your behalf. Well, well, one minute, madam, please. Okay.
madam yes sir now it is visible visible yes yes can you able to see the second yeah. slide yeah yes sir yes okay okay one second one second good morning to all uh so i'm uh, already ma'am introduced uh, uh to me uh, to you uh, as i as a professor in zoology department is a, that is my regular work apart from my regular work I, uh, additional charge of uh, director and coordinator of environmental information awareness capacity building and livelihood program and miss center uh, this is comes under the ministry of environment and forest climate change a uh, government of india new delhi madam madam are you able to hear my voice any one of you yes sir are you able to hear my voice yes, is, yes, is it okay yes yes yeah, yes yes, okay. yes. Uh, uh we are going to discuss about the uh, today's topic is a common topic one we already discussed with you clean green and smart campuses so uh, as a center as a environmental uh, center we are working in the field uh, more than 25 years uh, uh, creating the awareness program to the public as well as uh, school students and college students and also university students uh, in specific uh, what are the protocols uh, major protocols how to manage the waste and other thing we will discuss on later so uh, uh, this is the common topic one um, we will move on to the topic madam are you able to see the slide change the slide yes, yes. sir yes uh, yes, yes. Uh, first to start out with a small introduction about the environment you know the things environment is on the surrounding as what are the things surrounding in the earth so both environment and our earth are precious one because of all the living things uh, we live in the uh, environment only uh, more than 7.3 billion human being uh live on the earth so it depends on the environment so uh it's a one of the sensitive issue uh, mo uh most probably youngsters should take care of uh, uh this environment and protect the environment in a different ways we will discuss on the what are what are the various issues how to protect the environment uh and as well as home uh, institution colleges as well as uh, universities uh so what are the major challenges faced by the environment so you know the thing every year increase in the population uh, due to the increase in the population so environment also um uh, polluted by various ways uh, and also climate change because of the po population uh, 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 environmental uh, entire climate change is also there and also loss of biodiversity um so we uh, most of the plant and uh, animals comes under the endangered list because of the increasing the uh, overpopulation and increasing the um, human being level so and also global warming is so a global warming climate change is the one of the sensitive issues nowadays uh, most concerned about the uh, youngsters pollution is another important thing um, polluted by various uh, water pollution air pollution you know the thing every day you can see the newspapers and uh, um uh, uh medias so pollution uh, as an, at present you can see the uh, various cities the level of pollution is uh, different from the cities to city toxicity so toxic of chemicals and other uh things also and uh, to pollute the fertile uh, uh sand uh, as well as uh, um uh, water so ozone ozone layer depletion uh, the uh, the holes of the ozone layer is increasing we will discuss on later how these increasing the uh, ozone layer so it is one of the productive layer uh, which is in the uh, space then deforestation is another important uh, thing uh, so uh, nowadays uh, only uh, concentrate the both the Nadu as well as uh, uh, central government to plantation uh, implanting the uh, trees for various uh, institutions is a must is a comes under the regulations and also waste issues waste is also one of the sensitive issues um, so uh, nowadays for example uh, past two years the medical waste is a very sensitive issues how to manage the medical waste uh, and also solid waste so increasing the solid waste so uh, uh, plastic um, and also construction waste so these are the things it's a major challenges faced by our environment as well as 
in future generations also so here uh, you can see the uh, in late 1960 most of the countries especially united states paid little attention to the damage being done by the our environment because of there is no proper environmental protection agency epa no clean air act no clean water act and also no legal or regulatory mechanisms many industries paid little attention to the damages so there is no proper laws in before that 1960 so now only concentrate the both the government to initiate the various protocols various laws and uh, especially for uh, different environmental issues so before 1960 there is no proper uh, laws and uh, uh, protocols so for example initiating the industries how to initiate the industries how to start the industries what are the common regulations for industry uh, operations and uh, how to manage the uh, waste water from the industries these things are not regulated so now only once the polluted environment uh, we concern about the for example covid 19 like that various uh, diseases and other pollution and other environmental issues other natural natural uh, hazards it will leads to the problems so that now only concern about the uh, various um, laws and other thing so why should care about the environment so that is most uh, important questions uh, today is a sensitive um, questions so a clean we need a clean environment is essential for healthy living because of we were uh, uh, come out from the diseases and other um, natural uh, things so environment must be clean uh, earth is warming so you know the thing um, uh, every year increasing the temperature and the other thing then our future generation need clean environment and natural resources so because of uh, decreasing the natural resources in every year so we have to protect uh, the natural resources and also clean environment because of the generation younger generation needed the thing then bio uh, biodiversity is a, uh, is another important thing you know the thing most of the uh, plant and animals comes under the endangered list we have to protect um that is our um aim to protect and uh, we, uh, we must protect the biodiversity because of various ways we will discuss on later uh here you can see the this slide so that here you can see the how uh, human affect the environment for testing the nuclear testing deforestation water pollution polythene bag uh, forest fire animal poaching so animal poaching is another important thing uh, now only the forest department uh, regulate the rules and regulations are to hunting the animal for various purposes and uh, air pollution so uh, air pollution at present the delhi is uh, most highly polluted uh, in specific air polluted city in india so like that of uh, various because of the development of industries and also mining is another um, human uh, uh, activated environment and also pesticide application of pesticides is it, it will uh, entirely uh, polluted or uh, spoil the uh, soil so now you can see the uh, soil fertility soil uh, thing entirely change because of the using pesticides application of pesticide to protect the pest from the uh, agriculture field and the deforestation is another important thing so due to the deforestation the raining season everything must be changed so these are all the various human activity Uh, related to the environment now you can see the oil spill so 2015 uh, uh, oil spill in the north metras because of the ship entire ship uh, having the uh, oil it uh, break down the thing we will send the report to the immediately we will send the report to the ministry so like that of toxic substances from mixed with the water it will pollute the entire water system uh, and also industrial pollution area then um another uh, uh, thing sewage mixed with the uh, uh, with this concentrated sewage is mixed to the um uh, both soil as well as water bodies so these are all the every uh, days uh, we polluted the entire environment the water and soil and every atmosphere uh, thing 
Uh, climate change is another uh, sensitive issues uh, nowadays. Uh, changes in temperature. Temperature entirely uh, changing. You know the thing because of the uh, entire season must be in the changes. So and also increasing the sea level because of the uh, ice break on from the Antarctic. It's a break down the uh, thing, increasing the temperature due to the temperature increasing. Ice melted, it will reach to the sea. So sea level automatically increasing. And also changes of rainfall, you know, the thing, climate change uh, need, leads to the changes and also storm and it, of the things. So these are all the various climate change aspects uh, is occur in the normal thing. So these uh, slides mainly focused on the global warming. So the average variations of the global surface temperature from 1884 to 2004. This is the record uh, obtained from sources from NASA. Uh, you can see the uh, yellow color indicate the temperature level. So 1884, you can see the temperature level is very low. Once up increasing the uh, temperature, once the uh, 1894, 19, uh, then comes to th 2004, it's so a completely whole Look, entirely world world is entirely increasing the temperature. So you can see the yellow region. So yellow region is indicating the increase in the temperature level. So uh, here you can see the diagram how this uh, global warming or uh, temperature increasing from 1884 to 2004. Then ozone layer depletion is another important uh, issues um, uh, starting from 1979 to 2017, um, you can see the level of holes. So ozone, you know the thing, all our faculty members, you know the thing, ozone level, it protect the um, uh, direct sunlight from uh, sun. Uh, so once increase in the hole, it will reach the easily reach the sunlight. It will affect the human being. Sometimes the level of uh, frequency or uh, UV wavelength increasing, it will leads to cancer also. So skin diseases and cancer, it leads to that thing. So in protection of uh, ozone layer, uh, the whole of the ozone layer is increasing because of the climate change as well as uh, various environmental issues. So this is uh, also concerned about the, as a, as a faculty member, um, uh, we have to teach the students uh, for how this um, uh, ozone depletion occur in the thing with the uh, awareness related to the pamphlet or webinar and the seminar like that. So we will uh, be planning to um, organize this kind of awareness program. Then climate change impact on biodiversity. So these are all the various uh, plant as well as animal biodiversity, birds, everything. You know the definition of biodiversity, biological and diversity, the diversity of living organisms. So entire global warming and the climate change threat to entire plant and animals. So uh, nowadays, uh, recently I will discuss on later. So what are the list of uh, animals in specific uh, particular animals with the endangered list? So some of the plant and insect fishes, birds, reptiles comes under the endangered list because of the climate change. So increasing the temperature, decreasing the temperature, uh, rainfall, everything is changed. So that uh, uh, some of the animals it, uh, um, uh, comes under the um, uh, endangered list. You can see the coral reefs. So the color of the coral reefs is uh, entirely changing because of the climate temperature. So uh, water inside water temperature is increasing automatically. The color of the coral reefs also changing. So like that entire biodiversity um, uh, affected by climatic change and environmental issues. Um, why uh, we protect the biodiversity or reason for protect of uh, biodiversity. Um, so more than 7,000 uh, 7, different kinds of plants for we are using every day, we are using plant for food purposes so that you have to protect the biodiversity. Many medicines are derived from the plant and animals. So uh, even uh, nowadays, most of the researchers concentrate the uh, sea uh, organisms and other medicinal plants for the especially one of the important disease cancer and other uh, diabetics uh, concentrate the uh, natural sources of medicine uh, for that so that we have to protect the plant and animals for the uh, biodiversity aspects service to humanity free of charges so um, uh, creating the uh, creations and other thing then regulation of atmosphere 
the plants and animals to regulate the uh, atmosphere, purification and enrichment of soil, nutrient aspects, so that you have to protect the plants um, for the um, uh, regulation aspects. Soil formation and maintenance of soil fertility must be another important thing to protect our biodiversity. Uh, processing and the acquisition of nutrient, um, nutrients and waste assimilation is the most important sensitive issue nowadays because of the plant only is, you can uh, think you can protect the then pollination biological control and other control is uh, 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 should be protect our biodiversity uh, these are all the various reasons to protect our biodiversity um, for the environmental thing another important um, aspects waste management so waste uh, the generation of waste is uh, differ from uh, city to city, city or a village or a, a, a urban areas so differ from the things so both the uh, liquid and soil waste management is another important problem a major issues today's scenario when material is discarded without proper treatment it may cause a potential hazards to the human as well as environment so you can simply throw it for the um, um, environment. It will affect the both the environment as well as human health also. So that must be uh, care about the solid as well as liquid waste. So overpopulation, uh, because of the overpopulation and rapid industrialization, it will increase in the waste product. Solid waste management system in India are very still in over conditions. We have the segregation of uh, waste, solid waste is still in our uh, protocol for segregating the things. So we have the different types of um, pin and other thing, but we are not segregating the things. Dumping is the same uh, pin for all the waste material. It's very difficult to separate the things under. Um, um, so 90% of the residual waste uh, current dumped from the properly un uh, landfilled uh, thing. Then methods available uh, for any Indian aspects inadequate for waste collection transportation, treatment and disposal. So for example, um, fast two years, very difficult to manage the medical beast. Every, because we are not using clothes and a mask and everything. After using the things, you can just throw it on the environment. It will affect the entire environment, uh, soil as well as water. So very difficult, very difficult to manage the um, uh, uh, medical waste. So you have, even though we have the city, you have the um, um incident director and other type of uh, modern equipments so very difficult to manage the um, medical waste and also construction waste like that waste management is very difficult in india uh, yeah, apart from these things uh, um, uh, government also initiate the various techniques various um, um, ways to awareness to the uh, people as well as students hence the impact of waste on environment uh, health and society is major, major concern about the future generation. So here you can see the metro cities in India. Um, first um, diagram, you can see the waste generation ton per day. So Mumbai is the highest one. So nearly 11,000 tons per day. You can see the uh, level of uh, waste generated by different cities. Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai, uh, Hyderabad, Kolkata and Bangalore. So here second um, thing uh, diagram you can see the figure uh, so so that generation of waste generation waste is 62 percent collection only 43 what about and the remaining part of the thing remaining part of thing it will easily um, throw it to the ground it will affect the entire environment so as well as human uh, health also Dumping the waste is 30, 31 percent and treated only 11.9 percent only. So you can see the generation of waste uh, city wise is a differ. So very difficult to manage the uh, solid and liquid waste uh, both government as well as uh, some of the some of the NGOs also. So these are all the what we discussed in the previous slide. Um, is it in the table form? Is a generated based generated by the city, major city, and uh, how much is uh, uh, generated and uh, managed by the things? Here, so these are all the various uh, uh, types of waste management: uh, municipality solid waste, construction waste, special waste. So it's a, um, it's a uh, domestic commercial and industrial waste, you can various ways either both uh, liquid as well as solid waste very difficult to the things. More than 
two million people are involved in the management of um, waste management, either directly or indirectly. So, so uh, as an environmental um, uh, researcher, environmental um, worker, we are going to approach to the municipality workers. So, sir, the segregation is very uh, problem uh, every day. So, because of all the house um, household uh, waste are dumping into the same uh, pain, very difficult. We are um, nearly per day three hours for segregation purposes more than uh, depends upon the panjayat and other thing we are very difficult to manage the things that kind of uh, replay uh, from the municipality workers so and also there is no trained people for um, uh, technically trained people for the management of these kind of waste um here you can see the uh, solid waste management uh, solid waste in various places uh, in um, chennai um you know the thing Chennai is the only city, uh, uh, three rivers um, uh, inflow through the uh, same, uh, city and also more than 132 um, small um, um, rivers which is also um, uh, in the um, uh, city, in and around the city. That means a river in the sense of stack and uh, tame and other uh, small tame and other things. And also two important uh, wetland. One is Pallikarnai, uh, another one is Perumbakam. So now you can see the all the three rivers, uh, 132 uh, small uh, uh, water stack and uh, thing, and also uh, two important wetland. So because of the construction, because of the waste, uh, dumping the waste, so the entire uh, thing is polluted by this. Uh, human activities. So now you can see the Pallikarnai is Pallikarnai is a bird sanctuary as actually the wetland uh, birds, most of the foreign birds that come and settled in the Pallikarnai. Now you can see the Pallikarnai entire uh, thing is in solid waste, completely filled by solid waste. So these are the, some of the photographs taken from uh, particular areas. Another um, recent uh, um, problem is uh, microplastics. Uh, impact of microplastic in aquaculture uh, aquatic organisms so we can simply take the water from a water bottle or a, a polythene bag after that the water you can simply throw it into the um, um uh, environment uh, uh, during the rainy season it all are eroded by uh, lastly it will set it to the uh, marine so according to the research um, recent research most of the um, uh, sea organisms, um, that means marine organisms affected by these microplastics. So it will, uh, for example, the entire bottle, it will mix to the sea. So it will take sometimes it will come and break down the small, small pieces. So this will enter into the fishes. Then uh, that uh, some level of um, you know, taking the pieces, uh, some level of uh, microplastic enter into the human being also. So these are the, some of the photographs taken from um, uh, news, uh, so every, uh, how this marine animal affected by microplastics. This kind of uh, work is also um, going on in the marine uh, biological laboratory. Um, next, recently, uh, our government, our honorable prime minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, the initiated uh, mission life uh, uh, is actually 26th UN Climate Change Conference uh, organized the, um, in 2020 um, uh, uh, Mission life, so nothing but yeah, life means a lifestyle for environment. We have to change the lifestyle uh, for the environmental um, uh, in purposes. So that means environmental lifestyle. Right. So uh, uh, today there is need for all of the all of us come together to take the lifestyle for environment, especially especially for the environmentally conscious lifestyles. So um, we will discuss on uh, what their um, government or ministry given various uh, lifestyle program. So uh, we, we have obtained from the various uh, protocol from ministry. We, every day we have conducted. Uh, even yesterday I also conducted the program awareness program to the nearby Alvarpet school like that we have conducted various program we will discuss on later so this is um seven thematic uh, of lifestyle for environment so this is altered for house school as well as college university and public also so this is common for all 
so how these uh, things are happen uh, maintaining the energy uh, save the energy in institution as well as house and also university and social public industry and other thing so these um, um, things seven thematic uh, lifestyle um, theme uh, was given by ministry of environment after that uh, conference so first one is um, energy saving so the second um, thematic area is water saving you should uh, save the water is it in institution or a, um, or a house or a university or a public even a corporation pipe anything so you have to use it to save the water and also plastic is another important uh, even 20, 2022 onwards the Nord government don't use the plastics they uh, give the geo also but we are not uh, um, completely follow the geo uh, because of plastic only cheap and best and using for the various um, um, places so we are not uh, completely um, uh, eradicate the plastic but how to manage you should know the how to manage the plastic waste so for various purposes for example the plastic can be um, uh, used for road uh, uh, preparation the other ornamental uh, things preparation like that how to manage the plastic waste so that is another important uh, thematic area of lifestyle for environment so is it um, uh, these things are um, uh, applicable for college level also for example your your college campus or a school campus or university campus should be clean and clean or a smart campus is it um, bound completely manage the plastic waste so because of you are using um, plastic waste for various purposes you must manage the things then another important thing sustainable food system adapted so food waste you can reduce the food waste in the uh, industry hotel and other things also so that is another important thematic area of lifestyle for environment then waste reduced yes you can reduce the waste uh, there is a switch hada action um, uh, given by the ministry of uh, environment and forest you can, you can reduce the waste and also healthy life adapted another environmental issues uh, nowadays important thing is e-waste management each uh, each and every houses and colleges you can see the thing each and every person having more than two uh, cell phone or laptop other things also so after that uh, six months or one year any places any damages in the cell phone what happened is simply throw it into the um, um, soil so soil will entirely polluted by because of the circuit using the cadmium and other uh, chemical substances it will completely affected by things so you must care about the e-waste you can collect the e-waste in the institution or even a house also you can give it to the recycling purposes for nearby things so these are the seven thematic area which is aptered are use, useful for all the level starting from the house street then state and also other institutions also so these um all the e in seven uh, thematic area consist of 75 uh, modules so each modules consist uh, we, we are opting uh, we are creating the awareness for all the 75 uh, modules for the school level college level university level as well as social public level so for example one or two example i'm uh, given the things for example in, in case of house or institution or uh, any other instead of using tube light you can use the led bulb you can consume the uh, that means uh, save the energy uh, use public transport wherever possible so you can uh, use the uh, you can create the awareness to the students uh, nearby students you by come by uh, cycle bicycle and uh, uh, choose up the vehicle engine at the time of uh, crashing the um, signals and other thing so uh, you can reduce the carbon things like that small small uh, instructions uh, you uh, create the awareness to the um, students um, uh, use the smart switches for appliance of the various frequency so uh, now you can see the uh, nowadays you can automatic switches and also other thing also having so uh, these are uh, these are the various uh, more than 19 uh, modules which is also each and every modules we, we will create the awareness to the students 
uh, you, you, our target uh, is uh, school students because of the, their younger generation. So we are, uh, create the awareness either way of pamphlet or webinar or a special talk or um, drawing competitions or speech competitions like that. So we are creating the various, uh, uh, given the various topic and also creating the uh, different awareness program. So energy saving, you can see the, you can use the electronic ve uh, vehicles. Nowadays, electronic, you can see the electronic vehicles within the campus. You can use the, within the campus, electronic vehicles. You can reduce the pollution for the, especially carbon emission. So like that, up 70, 90, more than 19 energy saved concept given by the ministry. We take the, uh, what are the things adaptable for our university level, our college level, our school level, our institution level, we are adapting the things uh, as a environmental uh, center. Uh, we have, we, this is our role to um, do the things. So another important thing, water save. So water must be saved because of uh, in future, every uh, rainy season, all the water is go and uh, reach to the sea only. So we have to protect the rainwater, rainwater harvesting system in the institution. Adapt uh, cultivation of less water um, crops. That is another impermillet like that. Uh, water using that the solum, all those things. Uh, is, uh, it will take little bit water only. Oh, uh, use in in case of institution using efficient water saving technology, recycling technology and uh, efficient water uh, technology. Uh, re reuse of water from uh, washed vegetables, water and plants. So in case of our uh, uh, house or uh, 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 hotels or a canteen or institution, uh, anything, you, you, um, hand washing, other uh, uh, water must be reusing. So some of the plants, it will absorb the soap, uh, then only it will filter the entire uh, um, soap, it will, uh, pure water will go to the plant. Like that, you can, plantation uh, must be in the uh, direction of uh, uh, nearby the uh, washing room, another thing. Um, so another important, uh, more than 15 uh, uh, water saved uh, uh, items, we are using various di different uh, awareness program. We are conducting the schools and the college level. So where actually adapted, where is, is it applicable for this kind of rainwater harvesting? For, ex for example, uh, Madawakam schools um, uh, having the river, uh, nearby river and other uh, heavy um, um, river regions, you, you can construct the uh, water recycling system like that of um, pool and other uh, tank other system also it will protect the water like that we uh, we have conducted the various programs single use of plastic another uh, third uh, theme is comes under the uh, more than 10 uh, modules uh, you instead of using the bag bag you can use the uh, instead of using bag you can um, sorry instead of uh, plastic you can use the uh, yellow back. So previous uh, previously they are using other things. So, and also carry one water bottle instead of water um, plastic bottle. You can use the steel bottle like that. So small small um, things. Um, we have to give the awareness to the uh, students level. So instead of uh, um, in case of a menstrual uh, cycle, you can sanitary napkin instead of using the menstrual cups. So nowadays is a uh, technically it's a uh, useful for various uh, institutions. So recycling of plastic is another important thing. You, you can collect the, all the plastics. Uh, some of the industries in in, the, in Chennai they are using for road preparations, the preparation of roads and everything. So that you can collect the entire plastics in the institution or wherever you are working, you can collect the things. You can use it for the various purposes. So another. Um, a thematic area sustainable food system um, including uh, mostly the given the millet uh, diet through the um, anganwadi uh, people uh, most compost waste um, uh, uh, you can use the composite uh, pit for the uh, fertilizer, fertilizer sorry fertilizer uh, converting the fertilizer for the uh, kitchen waste so we are uh, we are uh, we will discuss on later so we are in uh, our campus we have the we have adopted these kind of systems and water reduced, this so waste reduced. Uh, waste reduced is another important uh, uh, thing. So because of you are using the um, thing, plastic or anything, so you have to reduce the um, use of these things. Uh, switch uh, switch action is another important thing so many, uh, given by ministry, uh, that is central government. Uh, contribute the cattle waste and food waste. 
can use it for the fertilizer and also practice segregation of dry and wet waste at the home level let me give the training so we provide the training program for the self help group the village people and also other people also use agriculture residues and animal waste for composting preparation of manure so this are the how to manage the waste material so another uh, healthy lifestyle is a sixth one uh, seventh one is e waste so healthy lifestyle uh, practice natural or organic farming you have to uh, put the garden in the um, uh, what are the lands available in the institute you have to develop the um, trees and other thing that is encourage the uh, millet uh, food and uh, indigenous health so like that e waste already discussed with you e waste is one, one of the important uh, aspects you can collect the entire uh, e uh, after using the laptop or desktop any computer or any Thing. you can collect it and uh, give it to the recycling thing so it must be recycled otherwise it will pollute the entire entire uh, um, um, entire environment so uh, recently uh, g20 uh, conferences uh, the thematic of uh, theme of a g20 conference one earth one family one future is the theme of uh, india G20 presidency. So that uh, various uh, global economy, uh, economy and also international financial stability, uh, everything you discussed in the G20 conference. So major thing is uh, climate change as well as sustainable development, lifestyle for environment. Uh, that is also discussed in the uh, G20 um, um, conferences. So that uh, protocol also given by ministry. We are also uh, create awareness to the college level as well as school level so so far we discussed about the what are the um, things uh, to create the uh, that means uh, environmentally um, issued uh, issues uh, we collect the entire uh, um, problems and send it to the every month we have to send the report to the ministry so um, um, uh, uh, now you come to the EIACP Environmental Information um, uh, Center. Information Center. As a major role is uh, we collect the information, um, secondary and primary information, send it to the information to the especially for environmental issues. Collect, send it to the central government. As a central government at the time of budget, they allocate the budget as well as, as a sensitive area uh, given to the government that is a state government discuss with the thing uh, solve the problems so in our center so uh, more than 66 centers are there in the india uh, uh, environment information system center is uh, our center is one of the center which is uh, established in the year 2002 more than we have completed 21 years uh, this center is uh, going on uh, uh, 21 years so this is the oldest scheme in india started in the year 1982 uh, more than completed in 41 years. So I think this is the longest project, so oldest project in India. So funded by Ministry of Environment and Forest Climate Change, MOEFCC, Government of India, New Delhi. So each center is having their own thematic area. One is uh, our th center is a uh, thematic area, microorganism and impact on public health. So that is the major uh, thematic area. So um, what are the things in 21 years we are doing? Uh, in various uh, thing within the one single slide. This is our overview of uh, DZUM, Department of Zoology, University of Madras, Environmental Impact Assessment um, uh, Center, uh, Protection Center. This is a center. Uh, what are the activities we are doing in various ways? For example, we have the websites, both English and Tamil websites. You can see the university websites. NBC, NBC, you can click NBS. You can see the entire websites and also kids corner so requirement of our kids also we have put the some of the knowledge uh, program in the kids also so we have collected the thematic area database for various uh, um, marine aspects as well as the environmental issues we can put it into the database in the cell so another important thing we are all um you, you are all in the faculty members we have conducted environmental issues Every three months we have conducted, you can see the website, every three months we have conducted the seminar workshop and conference related to the environmental issues. Uh, another important thing, as a um, faculty members in uh, colleges and universities, we, we are 
given the free intensive program so minimum uh, 15 days maximum 2 months we have intensive program for the students so especially for uh, uh, they are having two or three credits for the intensive program so the lifestyle for environment is another um, recent program given by ministry we are doing uh, doing various awareness program we will discuss on later then green skill development program we have so far we have conducted four uh, certificate course related to the waste management uh, and also we combined with the ngos uh, various activities awareness program we have conducted then grid based decision supportive system is another important um, aspects and recently given by the things we have collected the uh, mapping system for the district wise um, um, uh, administrative and uh, rivers how many uh, hospitals um, how many people are affected by this covid 19 these kind of uh, uh, aspects we collected and sent it to the Uh, mapping the things we have sent it to the ministry community tribe and environmentally sustainable village program is a, we have adopted on single village in the Kan Kanjipuram district we will provide all the basic necessity and also train the people for especially self help group people and also extension and outreach program uh, through the pamphlets and the school uh, competitions public interaction awareness program we will provide the extension activities we will see the next slide subject specific value added information we every uh, 3 months we have um, we have um, uh, prepared the newsletters english and tamil um, uh, yearly four newsletters for english and tamil uh, both research as well as other environmental issues we collected and sent it to the uh, all the people throughout the india as well as foreign also and also send the report to the uh, ministry straight up is another important uh, research aspects then mobile app e books we have so this is a single slide Uh, we we have um, um, organized various programs more than 21 years we are conducting the various programs so these things are now you can see the for example you can see the awareness activities environmental related activities every month we have the any one of environmental activities for like, uh, for example road safety day road cleanliness day world environment wetland day national science day uh, world wildlife day like that different uh, days we have give the awareness um among the public as well as students by giving the pamphlet and also posters and also conducting the webinar seminar and conducting the competitions uh, like uh, art competition like the various program we have, we have conducted so what are the things given by uh, seven team uh, 75 modules all the awareness program conducted uh, even um, street level school level college level and also university level so it will reach uh, i think uh, we, we will come to the uh, i will come to the later so these are the program uh, recent programs so 21 22 23 national road is road safety day so every month uh, january 11th to 14th we have give the awareness uh, either stately go to the students uh, schools and also pamphlet to the publics we will create the road safety day awareness program so national cleanliness day is the comes under the 30th we will create the various program in the various school and colleges level and also public uh, here you can see the world wetland day uh, madam can i take another 10 minutes yes sir yes sir so these are the various uh, yes thanks Uh, uh, we are conducting the various uh, uh, talk and uh, special talk and all various awareness program. Uh, World Wildlife Day, like that, different. All the, almost we covered entire environment related activities. Um, days uh, clean uh, cleaning and plantation. So so far we have implanted uh, more than this year. Uh, this year only we have implanted more than two thousand two hundred and twenty three uh, plantation in various colleges and schools. so especially for to create the green campus as well as uh, clean campus for the school level as well as college level um and also world health day because of our thematic areas uh, human health aspects we conducted the uh, various uh, health related programs with the help of uh, doctors so um, basic test basic test uh, test we have given and also create the awareness to the health world health day awareness program because of we, we we come our center is in zoology department uh, so that we um, bird aquatic animal day we celebrate in our campuses every big every year we have to conduct the same april 3rd we have conducted uh, bird uh, to create the awareness to the students 
earth day so because of uh, earth is most important one because of we are living in the earth we have we should protect the earth so the plantation or uh, international day for biological activities everything uh, we are conducted by the things then another uh, world environmental day is normally we are conducted uh, nearby um, <clears throat> children's park and other thing our create the awareness to the so world ocean day is another thing so like that every each and every um, part of the thing every month we have conducted minimum three to five uh, awareness program um, to the things so these are all the things plantation in the madawakam schools um, uh, because of uh, we, we we should conduct the awareness program, take the uh, geotech. Uh, we send to the every day evening. We send to the report to the Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Change Ministry. So Ministry evaluate the thing. We create the uh, software for the. So here you can see the word Olympic Day, Nine Day, Ozone Day, like that uh, different um, aspects we are doing every month uh, up to uh, October. So um, yesterday also we done the work with. Uh, schools uh, pollution control day world solid day here you can see the national okay like that we can give the entire uh, en environmental day activities up to this level we selected for this only given every day every month fast 21 years we are conducting the various programs this are all the recent uh, photograph we can give awareness through the awareness through the media we combine with the um, fm and also media we create the awareness to the um, public as well as students for the uh, various um, uh, environmental activities base here uh, this is the radio uh, city 91.1 fm we combine together we can conduct the various uh, environmental activities in, uh, in the campus so give the uh, things for a uh, paper also and also media create the awareness through the media health awareness program so uh, glaucoma and also common rainy season diseases and dengue fever covid 19 we we have uh, created the awareness to the various pamphlets given the people, especially we targeted the public. Uh, you give the various uh, diseases. Uh, um, we can prepare the uh, pamphlet, uh, circulate the pamphlet to the people. Um, here, this is a Tengu uh, affected area COVID awareness program conducted by the our our center conducted the things. So this is also another uh, important community. Uh, village is adapted village uh, we provide the basic things for uh, uh, knowledge as well as um, basic uh, dustbin and other uh, training program also with the help of panjait president we have conducted various programs uh, once in three months like that we are doing the work adapted the village so another uh, this is a uh, purely our uh, because of our more than 20 25 years there is no sita in india Recently, uh, with the help of the uh, Prime Minister, we introduced the uh, 10 to 12 CETAs, uh, CETA from uh, uh, South Africa uh, in Gujarat. Now it's, it's a breeding uh, started, the reintroduction of uh, CETA. So you should uh, give the uh, instruction by ministry, you should give the um, uh, awareness CETA, what is CETA, what are the uh, difference between CETA as well as Tiger, like that we can give the differentiation of what, importance of CETA. So what is the current status of CETA like that we have covered almost a lot of uh, schools both the government as well as the NGOs uh, sorry private schools aided schools also we covered the things most of the schools so this is uh, comes under the green skill development program uh, this is important for uh, uh, especially faculty members uh, those who are attended in this uh, this is a completely free course based management course these course certificate program minimum two months any degree, any degree, even Tamil or economics, I already told you from the starting, this is the common and sensitive topic. So that um, uh, green skill development program, it's a certificate program, uh, solid waste management or waste management, commonly waste management, it will cover all the construction waste, plastic waste, uh, e-waste, uh, everything, solid and everything, every waste we have, how to collect the things, how to segregate the things, we will provide the training and also field visit to the um, nearby uh, thing. Uh, we, this is the first uh, program program certificate course started in the year 19, 2019, then 2020, 2022, and also 20, um, uh, one more uh, 23. Also, we have finished the thing. So, so that uh, we have conducted a uh, four uh, program, um, uh, 20 seats only, completely free free seats. Uh, even uh, Gujarat and other states also apply 
they will provide the government ministry will provide the uh, accommodation and uh, other uh, things so that uh, complete free course uh, you have to um, reach the give, give the awareness to the your students also uh, some of the uh, uh, most uh, 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 so far 80 students 35 students are well settled even uh, government job also corporation uh, people they have taken the uh, 25,000 to um, uh, 38,000 like that uh, salary. Uh, so they settled. Some of the people that started the NGOs, that, that is a uh, own um, uh, programs, own uh, uh, industry programs. Like that is uh, one of the important course we have conducted uh, in the center. Uh, pub these are all the publications already discussed with you. So Tamil and vernacular language, English and Tamil language, yearly three, four publications related to the research article, related to the, um, as well as the research article, as well as related to issues related to uh, environment. So these are all the various uh, um, uh, publications. So end of the year, we have collected all the information, put it into the book, on single book, for a recent books we are um, collected the things. So, uh, so, so far we have done uh, 21 years, we have created the things like this only. So the green skill development program already, this is the first page. So second batch of uh, uh, screen, uh, green skill development program. Um, third batch, uh, this is the recent one, fourth batch. So, uh, so far we've discussed uh, 75 modules. We, we create the pamphlet. Um, Pamphlet to these uh, things. For example, instead of using the plastic bag, you have to plastic a bottle. You have to use the steel. Like that, we yellow bag. Uh, instead of using the um, plastic bag, like that, we yeah, create the uh, thing. Uh, put the awareness uh, display board um, and also pamphlet to the um, school and college levels. So here. Lifestyle, uh, so far we discussed in the previous slides, lifestyle for environment, we conducted the various programs, um, Prince uh, Salamal College, our uh, university, various colleges and uh, schools level, we have conducted the program, lifestyle program. So here you can see the various uh, schools and colleges uh, in and around the, we have covered almost uh, three districts, um, um, uh, Kanjiburam, Thruvallur, Chennai, as well as um, Shangalpattu district. Um, these are all the various programs. So these are the list of so far we have conducted the lifestyle, especially this year only introduced the lifestyle program. So far we have conducted um, these kind of um, colleges, this much colleges and also uh, school program in the things. So uh, recently we conducted the Hindustan International School, Karapakam, uh, conducted the parliament uh, G20 uh, conferences like that uh, give the um, uh, topic to the students, students will interact with the, each other. So different countries, people like that, um, um, they uh, uh, give the knowledge to the awareness program. So here you can see the um, recently given the um, handy, uh, standy selfie booth. Uh, we will um, put the booth in the various um, places um, to create the awareness through the booth. So students as well as uh, um, uh, school students, college students eagerly waiting for the, these these things uh, to create the awareness to the reach to the students. So these are the recent photographs uh, one by the things. So another important thing, intensive program already discussed in the uh, first slide. So we are given the intensive program for the students uh, free of cost only. Selected students will uh, give will provide the intensive program. Uh, for the various, these are all the various uh, uh, training program conducted with Stella Marys and other colleges, Cronona College. So, different colleges will come and take the intensive program also. Uh, special mass awareness program collaboration with the uh, um, NGOs, a Valalar Environmental Awareness Program. Because of Valalar, only uh, started the first environmental issues, uh, started the uh, speech by Valalar, so that we started the different uh, program, environmental awareness program, in the name of Valalar Environmental Awareness Program. Uh, Stella Marys College, Vaishnavi College, all the colleges, we covered a lot of colleges for creating the awareness program uh, for the program. So this is a recent uh, um, one, uh, 2022, we conducted the marathon uh, in the name of uh, Valalar Awareness Marathon. And also after that, it, it plantation lacquer in the nearby Madawakam Lake. Um, so uh, last month, October, um, sorry, October, uh, October 5th, we have conducted um, this month we conducted state level environmental awareness competition, short film. So you, you give the title, 
um um short film my music or dance anything related to the environmental thing so we have collected more than 353 52 uh, short film and as well as music and dance we have selected the first and second third and given the price list and certificate also so the selection may be in the uh, uh, we ask the cinema cine directors uh, so well known uh, actor rajesh and uh, uh, pararasu sinegan uh, they are uh, in front of their they are creating the um, they show the film uh, short list give the short list and uh, we provide the certificate and so through this short film we will create the we receive the lot of uh, beautiful uh, short film for example especially for how to manage the Uh, plastic waste like that uh, they given beautifully uh, by the um, uh, students so these are the certificate uh, issued by uh, directors and uh, things so another important thing we have the composite pit in our campus so we collect the waste from uh, ladies hostel as well as gents hostel vegetable waste completely we converted another 40 days we converted in the fertilizer so we use the fertilizer for various uh, plants and other thing in the campuses So and also recently we started the eco park eco park as a, uh, so far we have planted um, more than um, 90 93 medicinal plants in the area so we have to develop the things then uh, hands on training to the self help group uh, especially for uh, ornamental fish culture uh, mushroom culture like that so that is our part of another uh, other part of the nvs uh, nvs uh, department and also vadalambed village uh, programs um then uh, we will uh, approach to the kanathur nearby muttugadu approach to the people the fishermen people uh, we have planted the uh, mangroves plant mangroves plant is one of the important uh, plant it will protect the um, waves sea waves from at the time of um, uh, storms and other things so that uh, we have conducted the program we have planted the more than uh 500 and 500 uh, 500 plants in the muttugodu regions it will uh, now it will, you can see the growth of the things so that nac committee during the nac committee we will provide the stalls and uh, we will uh, enter a biocompost pit everything so more than 80 by percent of the external activity the marks uh, given by the through the uh, nb center so now come to the thing apart from we have conducted various awareness program and also we have conducted um, uh, we have observed all the protocols from tamil nadu government as well as um, ministry of environment and forest climate change uh, we have collected the entire modules entire uh, um, thing we are uh, apply to the um, uh, public as well as school students college students and university students so we have come to the conclusion so that must be um, um, uh, collective information through the, so far we have conducted um, awareness program more than 120 Uh, colleges uh, more than above uh, 90 schools like that so we have come to the conclusion for a cleanliness in the and uh, uh, clean campus or green campus uh, so you campus must be uh, clean or uh, green because of the plantation you plant the plantation and a uh, waste minimize you can create the awareness to the students the use of water and also whenever using the uh, water you just uh, after that finishing the work you can you must be close the water tap like that so water conservation and management you can create the awareness to the students water conservation and awareness environment environment friendly activities adopted and practiced by the campus that is most important one uh, greenery within the campus to provide pollution free air make plastic free environment waste disposal bins you can put the waste disposal bin and also posters display the environmental protection banners and posters so wherever needed you can display the owners and create the awareness to the students level then green and environmental audit everything must be in the month end or three months once you can um, uh, check the entire activities and uh, create the garden gardening is another important recycling program is another important thing so uh, you can conduct the apart from this you can every month or uh, three months once you have to conduct the webinar and uh, seminar related to the environmental issues um uh, through the uh, experts so in case of um uh, environmental engineering students uh, to create the app related to the environmental issues in case of science students you can give the individual project or a group project or innovative project you can give the award or a certificate to the particular students so through this uh, you can set the environmental club in the institutions through the club you can uh, do the work with the 
things. So smart campus in the sense reduce the paper use because of the uh, so we are using software and, and also various things and also give the individual projects for the students. So, so students are very smart. Uh, they are using different, uh, they are thinking different aspects and also reduce the consumption of natural sources. You can create the awareness to the so smart campus. And also, is it in case of, um, uh, uh, you can discuss with the engineering people, you can construct the um, uh, building, uh, reduce heat absorption building. Nowadays is another important um, architecture of um, building construction. Uh, so uh, free ventilation, natural air circulation um, without uh, air pollution like that. So even construction itself, you can uh, see the, uh, with the help of the engineering people, you can uh, use the things. So these are the smart campus aspects. Uh, previously, you can discuss with the um, a green and the clean campuses. So, so far we've discussed about the various uh, campuses and the various activities protocols uh, given by the Ministry of Environment and Forest. We have followed the, uh, all the, uh, try to implement the, all the awareness or create the awareness to the students as well as uh, uh, public level. So these are all the uh, various activities we have so far discussed. So from this, you can take some of the, uh, and tips are uh, some of the things you can take it and uh, adapt it in your institutions as well as uh, home. You can start that with the things. So with this, I finish my um, talk. So our responsibility to save the environment and the earth. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the opportunity to thank uh, ma'am. Um, I guess ma'am from my SS, uh, Jane College. Uh, and also all the um, thanks to all the participants. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for the useful session. Now the session for interaction. I request the spectators to type your queries in your in the YouTube live chat. So, uh, faculty members, you have to uh, um, um, take the message from what are the different protocols you can apply to your students so create the awareness to various aspects because of it is our duty to give the things yes if there is any questions you can type it in the chat box okay. I hope there is no question, sir. Uh, okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, Madam as well as the authority of uh, uh, GSS uh, Jain College. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. We'll finish off with a vote of thanks. Okay, we cannot do okay. great things on this earth, only small things with great love. See his mother, Teresa. Saying thank you is more than good manners. It is a good spirituality. May I call upon Dr. Varlakshmi, IPAC coordinator, to propose the vote of thanks. It's my great, uh, great privilege to propose a vote of thanks for the day. First and foremost, I thank the Lord Almighty for showering countless blessings and making the faculty development program for the day successful. On behalf of the entire fraternity of our college, I express my heartfelt thanks to our chief guest, Sri Tangavelu Pugar, business growth specialist, Diginadu Digital Marketing Technology Company, Dr. S. Sri Ranjani Moksha Gundam, Professor of Management, B School, Bangalore, Dr. S. Sumati, Assistant Professor and Head Department of Social Work, Tandai Rovers College, Dr. John, Assistant Professor, Department of Physical Education, Annamalai University, and Dr. C. Arul Vasu, Professor, Department of Zoology, University of Madras, Gindi Campus. On the whole, I thank all our guest speakers for sparing their valuable time and enlightening us about the best practices for the HEIs. 
I extend my sincere thanks to our Honorable Secretary and Correspondent, Dr. P. Gautam Vey, and our beloved Principal, Madam, Dr. N. K. Malati, for the um, meticulous guidance and encouragement. I thank all my fellow staff who have supported me and show, uh, and their, with a sincere effort to coordinate the program. I extend my special thanks to all the professors and academicians of various colleges and universities for their active participation and making the national level five days FTP a successful one. Once again, thank you all for your cordial cooperation. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Madam, can I wind up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can, I, can, I, can I close the session? OK, thank you. Yes, thank you, yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. You too. Thank you.